in here are, um, are pre-nursing students. So I would say a large majority. Okay, how many Foden students are, are pre-medicine, pre-physician or a PA? Anyone? Okay. Um, how about physical therapy? Okay. Curious. Curious, okay. OTs, speech therapy, respiratory therapy, okay. Um, so what, what Dr. Street is generous enough for me to do is come and speak to you about an opportunity that, that I teach. We have a fairly large um, adaptive kinesiology program here at the college. Um, there's, we have between 300 and 350 students involved in uh, and different types of exercises, and those include uh, some resistance weightlifting classes, some aquatic classes, some uh, cardiovascular and aerobic conditioning classes, a stretching, uh, a sports, and an outdoor recreation class. Okay, and uh, the students range from being 18 with maybe mild autism to uh, I think our oldest student is 89, and he's 20 years post-stroke and sort of everything in between, paraplegia, spina bifida, and whatnot. And so we teach in order to, to have a class of 30 disabled students, we largely need folks that are interested in, in health professions to come in and, uh, and be our helpers in those classes. And there's two classes that I offer. One is um, it's called Introduction to Therapy and Rehab. And I would say that it's, it's best for students that are interested in, my background is as a physical therapist, best for students that are going into physical therapy. Although more and more I've seen pre-OT students, a couple PA students that have come through. We um, generally have about three or four, like this semester I've got three or four pre-nursing students. Every now and then, I would say once a year, we get a, a student that's currently in the nursing program. But that's sort of the makeup. I also get students that, are, um, that aren't really sure of what they want to do within the allied health profession. So we're, there's a a fair amount of career exploration as well with that. Um, there's, uh, there's two ways to get involved with the program. One would be that you actually take my introduction to therapy and rehab class, and then you come in on Mondays, and the lecture is from 10 to noon. Okay? So you come in for that two hour period of time. Um, the lectures are gonna be dealing with objective measures of, um, of fitness and subjective measures. We will do some things like um, blood pressure readings. Uh, we'll do things like, you know, wh what is an objective measure of strength and how might a uh, physical therapist test that versus a personal trainer versus an orthopedic surgeon, uh, different ways that we do that. Um, looking at cardiovascular endurance and, and under the same sort of lens of maybe what does a respiratory therapist look at? What does a nurse look at? What does a physical therapist look at when they're determining someone's uh, cardiovascular um, capacity? Okay. Uh, if you do not want to come to my Monday lecture, but you still want to get involved with helping out with the adaptive kinesiology program, um, you can sign up for the, uh, a 1.5 unit class rather than the three unit lecture lab class. And that, um, essentially what you're going to be doing in that class is you're going to be oriented to the class that you help out with. And then you're going to come in and you're going to write a lab logbook entry um, uh, for what you've done in that class. And you owe me help for one class a week. So to earn that 1.5 units, you've got to commit to uh, between two and three hours a week of helping with one of our adaptive kinesiology classes. Our website has a lot of cool, um, we had a grant with the film cinema folks. I don't know if you guys had sent some of that you great. So, so it gives you a really good picture of exactly kind of what those classes look like. Um, you know, I think, and, and I do have a number of students that go on to, um, to do uh, internships at the hospital afterwards, and usually those students have done anatomy, physiology, chemistry, uh, they finish their baccalaureate degree in some instances and are applying to their graduate programs at the time. Um, there's the internships are largely through the memorial care hospital system. As a pre-nursing student, it's a point system that you guys get accepted by. And the last I look, it's highly competitive to get into our nursing program. Um, here, it's a really good program. 
Um, you're going to learn a ton with that. But as part of your clinical care extender hours, it allows you to get two extra points toward toward. <laughs> 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 you said you're up, but that was funny. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.